As the East Texas forecast calls for cold temperatures, really cold temperatures for the next few days, that has a rescue mission making preparations to get people in out of the cold. East Texas News Weekend's Bob Hallmark has more. The overcast skies and cooling temperatures have workers at the Highway 80 rescue mission in preparation. Coats, long sleeve shirts, hats, those kind of things that um, we can give people where they're when they're out and about. Across East Texas, there are makeshift homeless tent cities, and a look at the forecast shows what they'll be exposed to. There are weather threats uh, on the horizon that um, we want to be prepared to, to help people fend off. Last year when it was forecast that we were going to have that, that weather, we did have several of our staff going out and trying to, trying to contact as many people that were out in camps as possible to get them to come in. The East Texas winter can turn quickly from mild to freezing, and that traditionally means lots coming in out of the cold at the mission. A concern for mission workers is that the homeless don't come in right away, and with this front coming in very fast, the temperatures will drop very quickly. They're preparing as best as they can to get people out of the elements. We obviously encourage anyone overnight as the temperatures start to drop to come into shelter get out of the elements. Ultimately, overnight, people just need to come into shelter. That, that's the first and foremost thing that needs to happen, uh, particularly in the overnight hours. Um, encourage people to come down to the mission. Dead of winter traditionally brings more and more homeless and transient people in looking for a hot meal and a warm place to stay. So many that often the mission sleeps the excess on the floors. It's not uncommon at all for us to have people sleeping in the day room, um, on mats on the floor, just you know wherever we can find a corner for them. Bob Holmark, East Texas News Weekend. Donations of warm clothing and blankets are needed, as well as some food items. Donations can be made at Highway 80 Rescue Mission locations in Tyler and Longview.